What is going on guys? Graves here today. I'd like to talk about the best way to use your free ESO Plus time. I know a lot of you out there may not get ESO Plus every month. A lot of you out there may not own the DLCs individually. There's a lot of things that you can do during this free ESO Plus trial to kind of take advantage of some things in game that you will be able to keep even after the ESO Plus trial has ended. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing, of course, is if you do not own uh, the areas or the zones, that some of the solo arenas are in. So Maelstrom and Bodestron Hollows, for example. Uh, Maelstrom weapons have always been considered best in slot for a long time now, and they usually, are, and it seems they're going to stay that way, and they usually are from patch to patch or update to update. So if you have not played uh, Maelstrom Arena yet, uh, you don't have Rothgar, now's a great time to hop in and go ahead and you know, try to get some of those males from arena weapons. Uh, Vodastron Hollows, same kind of concept. If you want any of those uh, weapons, it's a good time to do that as well. Uh, skill lines, things like the Sigic Order skill line, the Dark Brotherhood uh, skill line, the Thieves Guild skill line. You can go ahead and get those done uh, during the free uh, ESO Plus event. Uh, those are great skill lines to have. The Sigic Order sometimes has a couple skills in it that are used for PvE and PvP for like, you know, meta builds. So that's a really good one to have. And of course, the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild are just a lot of fun if you like stealing stuff and some other things as well, using the Blade of Woe and all that kind of great stuff. Um, that's definitely worth doing as well. Uh, get your skill points from the uh, DLC Public Dungeons. That's one thing that you can do and do pretty quickly, probably within you know half a day if you have the time. You can go into all the DLC zones, go to all the Public Dungeons and do the group event. When you do that group event, you will get that uh, skill point. So you can get a lot of skill points just during uh, during this uh, ESO Plus free trial just from all the different uh, public dungeons that are available in the game. If you have any treasure maps or any surveys from zones that you do not own, now is the time to do those. I know a lot of people sometimes will just delete them if they don't own the area. Sometimes people hold on to them, just depending on w which side of that you're on. If you have a lot of treasure maps and you have a lot of surveys in your bank that are from zones that you don't own normally and you can't go into that you're you know that are restricted for you, uh, I would highly recommend doing those surveys and doing those treasure maps while the free trial is going on. Uh, farm mats, I mean, that's uh, kind of ties into doing the surveys and other zones that you know you, know, you don't uh, necessarily have access to. If you take just an hour a day and farm mats, that way you can add those into your crafting bag. I talked about this in the video uh, discussing the free trial. Anything that you pick up uh, during the free event will go into your crafting bag if it's a crafting material and it will stay there even after the event is over. The only thing that really changes is you cannot add anything to your crafting bag after the event is over if you do not own ESO Plus. But the great thing is you can still access that crafting bag and take material out. So now's a great time to go out and farm, you know, an hour or so a day. That way you can, you know, have some material saved up and it will be saved in that crafting bag. You don't have to worry about it being in your inventory or in your bank. Uh, you can dye your costumes right now. Dye stations, of course, that is a feature with ESO Plus. And those costumes will stay dyed even though uh, your ESO Plus trial will be over. All the costumes you dye, that will stay after the, ev after the event is over. Even if you don't have ESO Plus afterwards or if you don't purchase it afterwards, you can still have those costumes dyed and they will stay the same. Uh, same, the same, they will stay the same kind of look as you have dyed them during the free event itself. Uh, sky shards and other zones kind of ties into where, you know, we're talking about doing the public dungeons. Uh, go out and get all the sky shards you can. Every sky shard you see in a zone you don't own, go ahead and get it. Of course, that's going to be a couple, you know, free skill points for every three sky shards you find. Uh, log in with each character. If you have char a lot of characters that have items on them that are crafting material, make sure you log in with each one of those before the event ends. Because every time you log into a character, any crafting material that is on that character, uh, inventory-wise, will automatically go into that crafting bag. So just keep that in mind. Uh, fill homes with furniture. Uh, if you have some big houses and you hadn't had ESO Plus in the past, you can get up to 700 furnishing items in some of your houses. So you can go ahead and fill those homes up with that furnishing, uh, with those furnishing items. The great thing is, after the free trial is over, those 700 items will stay in your home. They won't take them away. The only thing that happens is if you do not have ESO Plus and let's say during the event you put 700 items in your house and you decide that you want to move something and you don't have ESO Plus, once you pick that item up, you can't place it back down because you won't have those 700 slots that are available with Plus. But during this event, you can place everything down that you want and you can keep those 700 uh, furnishing items in your home after the event has ended. Uh, unlock pets, personalities from zones and dungeons. 
there's a lot of zones and dungeons that offer you know some personality some pets even some hats and things of that nature just for you know going into the dungeon itself so as soon as you step into it you'll unlock some things so make sure that you're going into some of these dungeons and some of these zones that you have not been in before and if you can get some of these personalities done some of the pets unlocked some of the cosmetic items i would highly recommend that uh, those are just a few things you can do i know that's a lot of stuff and there is other stuff you can do as well and i know we don't have a ton of time uh, during the free event to get it all done but i would recommend picking a few of these things that you want to have done and try to work on those uh, you know for the next several days while the free eso plus event is going on leave me a comment with your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon associates and i'll catch you all next time peace